So we caught a grotesque fish, and the fishmonger pulled something out of it, and a man approached us who's interested in seeing what the fishmonger pulled from the fish. And he wants us to meet him on Blackstone Isle, which is to the south. I think it's marked on the map there, but it is nighttime, so I say we rest tonight. And we head there. Well, I see we can wake up when we want to. Head there in the morning. So let's undock. And I think, yeah, it's to the south, so it's that way. Oh yeah, and our traps have stuff now. Good. And this is what we pulled out, right? The handkerchief, a once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with delicate crimson thread. So we have a common crab. What's it that? I'm trying to remember if we completed that other mission. Let's check. Ah, we didn't complete this. So let's actually, since we're right here, we could just pull back in. Have you got any crabs for that order? Hmm. Don't forget if your crab pots get a bit worn out, the shipwright should be able to patch them up. So here's your crab. Ooh, 61.33. Fishmonger wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. These'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You could always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. Hmm. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They go mad? <laughs> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. But I already did bring you one. Should I buy another one of these? Hmm. It's like an investment, eh? Also, we can sell this other fish. I am going to buy another one. And I guess we'll just drop it off here. Still says plenty. This is just going to collect more fish for us, right? Okay. Get a couple of these. And let's do one more. These ones are worth a lot. Then we're going to head. I guess that's the island there. That's going to be ocean, right? It's the first time like heading out. Oh, that's actually dredge. Oh, this is considered coastal. Excellent. Oh, all seeing cod. Got a new one. That's good. That's the fishmonger wanted, right? Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Yikes. It's a storm of ruin. I guess I can dock here. Yeah. The ruined mansion and a workshop. 
The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts. Treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Hell yeah! <laughs> That sounds awesome. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Dredge crane. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Now what's going on with this workshop? Workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Let's go inside. It's locked. Can I ask him about that? What is it? Oh, okay. You already told me where to look for the relics. Okay, well, we still have a lot of time, so we could do some fishing on the way. Oh, I should check out the ship, too. Caught to order, we got the aberrant fish. Search for relics. Collector has installed a dredging... has installed dredging equipment on my boat. I'm to locate some relics for him. He said he'll reward me. Well, for any, I return to him at Blackstone Isle. Checking out shipwrecks and the like would be a good place to start. He mentioned that the locals might be able to point me to some. Oh, it's all in different areas. The first one we want to find is in the Marrows. The key. I don't see it on my boat, though. Maybe it's just built in? No. Not in storage. And dock rest. I still don't have any of these research parts. I'm a little confused at how I I get more. Oh, I couldn't get the flexible fishing pole anyways. It required two research uh, parts. Okay, didn't notice that before. Well, let's go. And let's see if we can uh, fish the dredge. So we're heading back. Oops, <laughs> turning's a little bit weird. It's a message over there, too. I can't. I can't. That's that's oceanic. Is this the is this a dredge? We could sleep on the other town for the night. Oh, no, it disappeared. Shoot. Get it. We'll go back. We'll spend a bit of time fishing at night. Rods, reels, rigs has, has been red. That's good. Let's check out this one. Might be getting better at this. I 
think I could probably catch one more, but let's let's head back in. Actually, we can collect stuff from uh, our traps. <laughs> Does this fishmonger ever sleep? Oh, the lighthouse keeper wants to talk to us also. Okay. What is it? Oh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. The back. Okay. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? I should go. <laughs> Good luck. The builder wants to talk to us. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. Hmm. What's it like out there? Um, it's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Hmm. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a play a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Yeah. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. A new pursuit, okay. Let's go to the fishmonger. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Yes, I do in fact. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. Is that the aberrant fish delivery? Because it's got the same color. There should be just a button to transfer, but I guess, oh, no, just, there's one to storage. I guess you have to decide where to place it though. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around the slimy body. Mm. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Ah, there we go. The research parts. What's that sound? Hmm, do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Oh, you listen, sorry, <laughs> silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now! Okay. Um, 116.85. Fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of the metal bar sliding across it. Has to deal with a creature? So we have this, a place to rest. Spoke to a builder on the dock at Greater Marrow. Kept talking about moving on, didn't seem entirely with it. Asked if I would help bring materials to Steel Point, an island to the north, so they could build a house there. I'm sure I can dredge up something. There's good wood in some of the wrecks. Is that what, that's what dredge means, I guess, right? That's, those are like some of the wrecks, like the scrap stuff. That's why we needed um, like a crane. And I guess it's just fit on the ship and it doesn't take up any any spots. 
so we kind of have a decision to make here. Damage to your hull is bound to stop engines and such from functioning right. Be careful near rocks. We want to buy the hydraulic rod for 410. But we need it to t occupy this spot. But we also want to be able to fish the shallow and the coastal waters. So I think what we do is we research this flexible fishing pole, which is a hybrid design, which allows for a more flexible fishing style. Oh, no, it only costs one. No, it costs two. <laughs> now available in stores. Excellent. You want a variety of tackle to catch all the fish out there. Make sure you're prepared for whatever you come across. I, we sell both of these, actually. What am I talking about? How much How much does it cost? 460? Okay. Three hours to install. And then we're left up with 125.72. So let's rest for the night. And we'll uh, see what we can dredge up. There's that steel island or whatever. Lumber and scrap. Oh, there's a take all button. Ooh, nice. Turn off the light. Let's go, let's go over here. Hey, a trophy. Three foot, three inch gray eel. I think the dredge is over there. Or, or no, there it is. Shapes in the deep. Start dredging. I don't know how this works. It's my first time doing it. Let's exit to change lanes. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, a research part. Oh, really? I like that it's different every time. Plank of wood. The thing is, we're not really getting money for this. It's depleted. Oh, we don't have oceanic. Is there a dredge over here? We got another one. A barbed eel. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Uh, what's. Looks like there's a wreck here. Can I investigate that? Ah, we can. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. We're supposed to look for these. Maybe we'll find the key. A research part. That's cool. So it pays to explore. Lumber. A citrine ring. A gold ring clasping a glowing citrine. It's a type of gem. 
an old iron chain. Junk to the untrained eye, but there's good metal here. Someone might pay for this. So we only need two lumber and we need two scrap. I don't know if that's considered to be scrap. But we're kind of getting full up here. Let's head back. Maybe we can pick up some crabs on the way. To fill up our in our space. Oh, can the wind like push you into rocks sometimes? Okay, we can't carry that. We can take that. Wonderful. Oh, but we have to take that wood to the island, eh? The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Oh. Well, that's not good. We can just put stuff into storage. I assume it, it lasts? Go bad? I don't I don't know. I think I could take this to um wasn't there Wasn't there someone on the other island that could use that. We do another research. Anti tangle line. So fishing speed 55%. Catches mangrove and coastal. The line has been hardened and reinforced to avoid and withstand snags. Or heat resistant line. Catches volcanic and shallow. I, I'll just hang on to my research, I guess. Can I just. Can I research this? Abyssal. No, I can't. Maybe we need to get that. Oh, there's engines and oh, I didn't even notice this. And pots. I don't have nets yet. A fishing crab pot. Two to three per day. Four by four. Hardy crab pot. Lasts for five days. Two per day. Four by four. Large crab pot, five by four. Three days. Let's uh, research the hardy one. Improved outboard engine. And that. So should we get the improved outboard engine? 15 knots. So we have 125. It's 175. Yeah, we don't have enough. So let's... I'm gonna undock. We'll, we'll let that build up. I'm going to pop over to here and see if we can sell that stuff. And then we'll go north and drop off. See if we can dredge up the scrap. Drop that off, off up north so she can build her house. And we can explore that area. The trader. Grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, 
I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, it'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you out with? Pursuit added. Does he mark it on the map where that wreck was? What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you out with? I'm good. Is the trader up? There we go. Junk to the entry. Okay, so the he'll buy it for 750. 25. Oh, we can access our storage too. It's like he doesn't care about this stuff. What does it say for pursuits? Find the belt buckle near Little Marrow. Dread shipwrecks. I guess it's just going to be random. Let's take a look at the map. Maybe that's where the shipwreck was. So we could go there tomorrow. I think that's probably a smart idea. Because we're still uh, trying to get more uh, dredge up some some scrap, right? I don't know if I'm, like, wasting time by resting all night. So that was... South and West. Some dredging. We could check out that message, too. Is it always just wood, though? Oh, shoot. I hit the wrong button. I hit down instead of X. Well, I'll try it again. But if we just keep getting wood. It seems like kind of a waste. That was ocean, right? Oh, here we go. This looks like uh, scrap. Or jewelry? Is that is that what the symbol means? A worn golden ring. Depleted. So you can look at what's going on underneath the water to see exactly what type of thing you're going to dredge up. That could be scrap. A bolt of cloth. All right. close to that spot. There it is. Oops. Shapes in the deep. Okay. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty tricky. Oh, nice! We found it! I can sleep at the collector, right?
What's going on here? Why is that? Huh. I don't know if I really need this wood. Let's try one more because this is just because this is glowing. Maybe all of the fish's spots are glowing at night. But no, we... Oh god. <laughs> 